Welcome back to Anakin's Cat Corner, coming from a real corner. Today, I'd actually like to introduce you to a very special friend named Asil. You see, she was found on a farm. She's eight years old now, and she gave birth to kittens when she was only a little year old. She even loves treats, see what she can give to them. See? So today, we are going to learn about how cats fought through the times of World War I. So, let's get to it. Imagine it is winter 1917. You are a frightened young soldier stationed somewhere along the North Sea, hunkered down trench, waiting for the next hour. Now imagine you're just 18 years old. You don't think about tomorrow or next week. All you think about is making it out alive until nightfall. Then morning, then noon. To make matters worse, it is bitterly cold. The winds from the sea show no mercy. There are long periods of boredom broken up by brief periods of absolute terror. Lack of sleep and sanitation coupled with the lack of fresh fruit and vegetables all wear away at your health physically and mentally. It is war and war is not pretty. At night, rats come out both to chew on the living and on the dead, both on the battlefield and between the fire trenches as well as the tunnels. It's a sickening sound in the darkness. There are no words to describe it. You are young, alone, miserable, possibly sick, and deeply scared. But then you hear a soft purring as a kitten climbs along your chest. You reach along and pet her. She provides a moment of peace to your nightmarish existence. This was a very real scenario during World War I. Since men first began selling the seas, the problems of rats eating food and grain on board the ship plagued them. The solution to the problem was the introduction of cats. It is estimated that around 500,000 cats served in the U.S. trenches where they killed rats and mice, detected possibly deadly gases, and confronted the soldiers in their long, dark, cold nights. By common perception, soldiers are so stoic, goal-oriented, fearless, and focused. They have a job to do, duties to perform, and a war to win. But most importantly, these fearless soldiers had a home to return to. But what in the world would a cat provide to us? For example, if we were to think of our own lives as COVID has kept us shut in our homes, separated from our loved ones, constantly worried about the ever-changing roles, we crave one thing above all else, normalcy. To the men in trenches, such human needs, like touch and comfort, were highly unlikely. A cat could provide such comfort. For the men, a cat might stir up memories of home or childhood. It could offer the opportunity to a nurture objective. A cat could offer the chance to drop bravado and simply exist for a brief, brief moment. Just a treating a cat to a nibble of your rations provided proof that war was not robbed us of our ability to be human. One of the most famous stories told was a cat born in the trenches whom the soldiers cared for after his mother killed, and they named Patucci. He was adopted by a Belgian soldier named Lieutenant Luquet. And legend has it, the cat single podly saved this man's life. According to the story, Lieutenant Luquet was shouting near the German lines when he discovered that they were digging a trench. He hid inside the shell hold and began to sketch the German activity to relay back to his command. Remember, while photo photographs weren't available in use, they weren't easily available to men in this field. He was so absorbed in his work that he didn't notice the German soldiers on patrol. By the time Lieutenant Luquet noticed their presence, it was far too late to make a run for it. He simply had to wade it in his hole and hope that he didn't get discovered. Lying very still and praying not to be seen, the lieutenant heard one of the soldiers say, he's in the hole, and knew that someone had caught sight of him. Whether by chance or divine intervention, Batucci chose that moment to jump from the hole into a piece of timber, lying nearby on the ground. The Germans were startled and began rapidly firing at the movement nearby. The cat was frightened and quickly jumped back into his hole with his human. The Germans laughed at their mistake, thinking that the cat was a man and gave each other good-natured ribbing. Thankfully, they left without further exploration and Lieutenant Luquet finished his drawing and returned to his station with his cat on his soldiers completely unharmed. 
we all know that dogs have a keen sense of smell, but cats are also sensitive to the odors that humans cannot always detect. During World War I, felines were important in the detection of toxic gases, which could have sparked fires on board naval ships. In the trenches, cats were less protected than their human counterparts. In a dex, men would wear gas masks and watch helplessly as the animals died from the unseen toxic fumes. This led to gas masks made specifically for horses and dogs. Originally, they simply used human masks, but this were the side effects as the dog's ears could not take the pressure changes and the horse's eyes were not placed right for protection. Doing research, I have not seen any evidence of a cat gas mask. Weather news for companionship, distraction, communication, or gas detection. There is no denying the fact that animals helped win World War I. Horses, dogs, pigeons, and cats are the most noted animals in this service. One note of a cat named Ching, who was named the ship's mascot of the HMAS Swan. If you would like to learn more on this subject, I would like to suggest the book Soldiers in Fur and Feathers for Insight by Susan Belunda. Have a great day, my friends. This is Anakin Hydrick, and you are always welcome in Anakin's Cat Corner. Today, I would love to give a shout out to Chloe. His human is Mrs. Rhonda James Weathers, who currently lives in Pensacola, Florida. This little sweetie looks like she is well loved. Have a wonderful day.